Adobe Express constantly receives new updates and features. That's why I have prepared 10 new tips and tricks for Adobe Express. How can we put our own image inside a circle doing a proper circle crop using just Adobe Express? So here I am on Adobe Express website. I'm going to start from my own content and upload my image. All right, here's the image. Next, I'm going to select edit image and will bring me to this editor. After the image is fully loaded, you just need to be sure that the correct layer is selected. In normal case, you will have just this one layer of the image. So here it is, and then select crop above the image. All right, scroll down here on the left this time, search for shapes. From here, you can select the shape you wanna use to crop this image. I mentioned we're doing the proper circle. I click on the circle, now I can make it smaller or larger and reposition around the image. Just be careful to not grab the image like I just did. I want to keep the image intact and I must be sure that I'm selecting the shape, the cropping shape. All right, so slow down and be sure you click on this cropping shape correctly. Okay, if you are happy with this result, you will need to confirm that by clicking out. And here it is. Now you may also consider cropping those white areas if your image was not originally square, like in my case. So we can actually resize the whole document. Unfortunately, this is a premium feature in Adobe Express. So as you can see, I will need to have the premium version to be able to resize it correctly. So how can we work around this limitation using just a free account like I just using? Let's start with the actual blank square project first. So this time I will not start with my own content. I will create a blank new project. I click this plus, I select square, and I just use the upload button inside the project to load my image. Now I can stretch it a bit. All right, and then click crop and do the very same thing like before. And this way you will have the square aspect ratio and also the crop into a circle. Click download, select PNG and download. And here it is already on my local machine. How can we use Adobe Express to create a simple text watermark on your picture? First, you will need to upload the image. After that, you will see this preview and we're going to choose edit image. As you may notice, the image is still loading. I still got this little cloud and now it's loaded. What we need to do, we need to add element to this and this will be a text element. If you got some specially prepared PNG logo as your watermark, that will be perfect. You can just click upload and upload your special logo. But in my case, I will just use a basic text. So I click text here on the left. I'll click add text and here is my text. watermark i will select the text and then change it to white color okay we can also modify the font avoid font with this little violet crown that's a premium font it required us to have a premium version of adobe express so let's stick to just basic fonts okay now you can position that and very often you want to change the size of it as well. So be sure you resize that correctly. This is really strong watermark. So why don't we drop the opacity a bit? Let's head back to fill color. This time from swatches to custom and there's additional slider for opacity. We can reduce that. Now let's say 50% and now we got semi-transparent white color. I place this watermark in this bottom corner but I can now duplicate this whole layer. Here it is. And I can place one extra copy at the top left corner. All right, and I got a brand new version of my picture with two semi-transparent watermarks. I'm ready to download this new version. So I click download at the top. It may take a moment, depending on the size of the image. And here it is. 
I got this on my machine already, this watermark here at the top and here at the bottom. Alright, so that's how you can use Adobe Express to insert a simple watermark on your image. How can we add a hyperlink to our Adobe Express design? So here I am in this poster project. I'm going to add a brand new text. So select text first on the left, then this blue button, add your text. You can put any name here. In my case, I will just type link. Of course, we can change the color. We can change the font. All right, but that's still a regular text. So how can I put a link on it? Why the text is still selected, you will see link options. Click on that and paste your link here. Then confirm with this OK button, apply a link. As you may notice, now this text is underlined, indicating it's a proper link. If I export this in like PDF format, people can easily click on that and they will be taken to that website. So let's try that. I will download the whole thing as the proper PDF. Here it is, it's PDF on my hard drive and now I can hover my mouse, take a look. It's changing to the clickable hand. I click on that and it will take me to Google Chrome to open the link. All right, everything's working just fine. So that's how you can add hyperlinks to your design in Adobe Express. How can we use Adobe Express to replace a backdrop in a photo? So here I am in Adobe Express. I'm going to start from my own content. So I click here on this big upload button. And here's my image. I want to edit this image. So I select the first option. We need to wait a moment for the image to be fully loaded like that. Then select remove backdrop from the quick actions on the left. All right, with the backdrop gone, we just simply need to put a brand new image behind this person. We can head to Media Center here and select some stock images or upload our own. I have decided to use the built-in search for stock images. Some of them are paid, a premium. You can see this little crown icon. So I'm simply going to stack with uh, free ones like this brick wall. I select that and then I will need to stretch it a bit. Just be sure the resolution of the selected stock image is large enough. All right. And as you may guess, we need to reorder our layers. So drag the backdrop behind the person. All right. And that's how we replace the original backdrop with a brand new one selected from the media gallery. Now I simply need to download this ready to use image as PNG, maybe as JPEG, that's up to you. And then hit the big blue button download. And here it is. I got this on my hard drive already with the new backdrop. It was really quick and I use only the free software. Let's learn how can we use Adobe Express to create an Instagram reel without any footage of our own. So we can just select a proper template, edit some text and we are done. So let's explore all of the possible templates. Normally you see the popular templates here at the bottom, but I want you to click view all. This way we got the pop-up window like that when we can select different categories like video or in our case, social media. Select social media and at the very top you will see Instagram group when you can see Instagram reels. Browse template for that and then on the left we got multiple different templates. When you hover your mouse above, you will see it plays and how long it is. This one is six seconds and I already got some footage in it and it's free. If you see the one with the little crown, that's the paid one. So you need to have like a premium account for that, but we can stick with the free one. Like this one, take a look. We got a footage of from like the plane and stuff like that. And we can edit the text on it. We can remix this a little bit, even add some of our own images and footage if you like. So I click on this one. It's loaded now and I see all of the layers here on the right. And I also see a proper timeline for the whole video at the bottom when stuff is appearing. So there are three different clips 
All right, so you could modify that, but most of us just want to change text. To change the text, you can first double tap on it. So click on the text and you double tap, the text will be selected like that and you can type whatever you like. And I managed to modify the text. Of course, I could change the font as well here on the left. Now that's a different font. Effects and animations are also available. All right, let's try to play it. And it's following the animation from the template. So that's nice. I could customize all of the text. I could remove objects I don't like or even add some new objects or pictures. And then if I'm happy with this reel, I can click download, select MP4, that's a video format. And then again, confirm with download. Now, Adobe Express will compile this video for us and then download to your hard drive. After that process is finished, you can find the video in your regular downloads folder. So here it is, the video playing from my hard drive. And here it is, the video playing from my hard drive. How to save your projects in Adobe Express. The good news is you don't need to actually press save because this is a cloud-based graphic editing software similar to Canva. So all of our projects are saved kind of on our account. If you click your stuff here on the left, you will see all of your past projects stored here. So we don't need to save projects that are all saved automatically. But many of you means how we can download them to the local machine. So let's try to do just that. So when you start a new project, you can make all of those changes and edits. It will be safe on your cloud. Take a look here at the top, this little cloud icon and the name of it. So you can rename your projects to organize them a bit better. But to download this to your local machine, head to the right side and hit download button where you can choose several formats. Keep in mind, this is not a project file. It's an image or PDF. The original project file we can edit. It's only here on the Adobe Express website. Okay, so all of the projects are saved automatically here and you can always find them by clicking on your folder called your stuff. You can also download them as images or PDFs for print or share online. Okay, so that's how you do it. Just select the format and click download. And I got my download here. How can we use Adobe Express to turn image black and white? In this case, we want to start from our own content, so you can click here to browse your computer or simply drag and drop the image. When you start dragging the image, the whole screen will become kind of blue and tell you to just drop your content. And here it is. Now the image is still loading, but we can already decide about aspect ratio. They're also showing some templates, but that's not what we want today. So I keep original aspect ratio. All right, click on the image itself. So you got this edit menu on the left where you can click adjust and from here you can now use the saturation slider move it all the way down and you will end up with black and white grayscale image alternatively you could just use a filter so you can have filter to do that for us click effect then we can search for the proper filter here in tones, we can see there's a grayscale filter straight away. You can click on that and with just one click, we got the color mode we need. In case you are after different color, you can select this from the filter section here as well. All right, so that's how easy it is to turn your colorful image into black and white into grayscale in Adobe Express. But don't forget to download back this new version of your image. So click download button. Select the format PNG or JPEG and then simply click this big blue download button. It may take a moment and here it is. It's on my hard drive already. Hey, let me show you how easy it is to speed up a video using just Adobe Express website. In our case, we're going to start from our own content because I already got this video on a speed up. So I click on the little cloud icon where I can select the video from my hard drive. Let's create a new project from this video. I will maintain the original aspect ratio. All right, and here it is. But wait a second. 
can you see this orange cloud here? Means it's still uploading to Adobe Express. So I recommend to simply wait a moment. All right, and the cloud is gone. Now we can start our editing. In our case, we just want to speed up the whole video. So click on the video in the timeline below and on the left, you will see the speed meter here when we can set this up to the right to increase to 150% or 200. Okay, so now the video will be in double speed. After you do just that, you will need to export the video again. So now we want to save this as the new video that got double speed. You can click download mp4 so we need to download back the video format keep in mind it may take a moment to generate a video and that's how easy it is to speed up your video using adobe express did you know that you can use adobe express to edit pdfs simply click view all here at the top right to see all of the possible document formats in this nice pop-up and you will notice this and the channel button here import from other apps we're going to use this today and they will inform you here on the right side all of the apps that are supported and as you can see pdfs as well so let's try to drag and drop a pdf and this is not a simple text heavy pdf this one got some backdrop color graphical elements and stuff like that so let's see that adobe express can handle that all right, they finished conversion. Now we can open this document. Here it is. Your PDF was successfully converted. And as you can see, my text is editable. So I can make necessary changes in this PDF document. I can even add new elements. So I can add brand new text box and type something else or add a upload my signature and sign the document here. I can use the upload to simply upload the image of my signature and put it here somewhere if I need to sign PDF document and then I can download back this new version. So click download at the top and again we can download back this as a regular PDF. So that's how we can use Adobe Express to modify existing PDFs. How can we download our Adobe Express project as Word document? After you click download here at the top right you will have different format to choose from, but we cannot see Microsoft Word. But we can select PDF, so let's start with that and download. Now we just simply need a converter that can convert PDF into Microsoft Word. I like to use this one called Small PDF. Drag and drop your file here. And now we can convert to different formats, in our case Microsoft Word. I click convert and now I will need to wait a moment. Let's download our new file and open it up in Microsoft Word itself. Take a look. Here's the very same documents. All of the graphics are here. Unfortunately, the font changed. So something I will need to adjust now to kind of get a similar looking fonts here. That's because some of the fonts available in Adobe Express may be not installed on your computer. So you will need to worry about those fonts later on. But the text is editable. Take a look. I can type any text I want and the format is kind of the same. So only downside is the fonts are different. But that's the best way right now how you can save Adobe Express documents as Microsoft Doc, as Microsoft Word document. Download PDF, then convert to Word and you are done. I hope this was helpful. See you in the next one.